What's going on guys, it's Tywin here, bringing you another playthrough of Spiral Episode 1. This is Chapter 3 of the game, and right now we're kind of reminiscing, reminiscing about right after the war, we didn't know who we were, we had like amnesia, and this right arm became a techno-organic replacement because he must have lost his arm in the war. And that is our friend Ava, <coughs> excuse me, who's been talking with us throughout the game so far. So the little companion we have is indeed our mechanical arm and the source of much of our power, I would guess. So, if you remember from last episode, we ended up, ended up in our apartment. We're going to get some rest before meeting the police contact that our friend in the bar set us up with. So this chapter starts off in another dreamlike state. We have passed out again and we are in this dream world with this unknown force talking to us. We're trying to figure out what this is. The force tells us that she is part of us and also not part of us. In some cryptic message, she says, you need to find me. And then we come to here, holding the wall. Uh, Ava is relieved we're back. We don't remember passing out. And she informs us that we passed out shortly after leaving the apartment to go find the police contact. which we have no recollection of. Of course, because every time we pass out, we lose that bit of memory. So now we need to go find the police contact. He's going to bring us to a warehouse where the terrorist group is supposedly holding the battery core. We're going to try to figure out what's going on. So we run over to the police officer, he tells us uh, where he's going to bring us and all that jazz and he brings us to the warehouse. So here we are, he tells us we're on our own and we get to do some exploring now. <clears throat> We need to get up to that emergency exit up there. So we're gonna once again use our trusty grapple hook and grapple our way across the beams above to get to that door and enter the warehouse. Once again, just tap the circles when they're yellow and you will grapple to them. Pretty. Straightforward, just a quick reminder, that's how it's done. And then you made it to the platform. Now that we're in the platform, uh, once again, another game mechanic is going to be introduced to us as you'll see here in a few minutes it's going to be the stealth mode stealth mechanic but first we need to activate all of the loading cranes so we can get to that door over there without being detected so there are three terminals that are currently deactivated that we must activate the first one is right when you open the door here so that's no problem. You just walk up to it and tap on the screen to activate it, which will activate the first uh, crane. Go ahead and grapple to that first crane there. Which will 
bring us to the other side where we can walk down the ramp here and enter stealth mode to find the two other terminals that need to be activated. <coughs> so we'll continue down the stairs here. And when going to stealth mode, it goes into this top-down view, which reminds me a lot, if you've ever played it, of Metal Gear Solid 1, or Metal Gear Solid the, for PlayStation 1. Uh, so you get that top-down view, so you can see where all the enemies are patrolling and avoid their eye contact. If they do, if you do get in their line of sight, a little exclamation point will go above their head and they will tell you to halt and you'll have to start back from the last checkpoint so of you know just pay attention to where the guards are and move only when they can't see you pretty self-explanatory right, we just gotta get that last uh screen over here to activate and that will get all the loading cranes activated and then we will head back up that ramp, that, first, that second ramp that we went down. Once again, moving in self mode so as not to be detected. And if you're wondering why I'm moving quicker, it's because I'm just speeding this up a little bit for y'all so you don't have to just watch me crawl back to the ramp. So once we get, once we get back up here on the rat, ramp, we'll go ahead and grapple that first grappling hook. When it comes around here, around, when it rounds the corner here. go grapple there and then look out for the other grappling hook see one there on the left hand side of the screen when it comes into range you gotta try to grapple it <clears throat> None of them were in range for us at that time. So. What we're going to do is walk down this ramp here and grapple onto the wall here. In uh, just a bit. All right, now we're up on this platform here, and we can easily, more easily reach this grappling hook. Now we will grapple across the way. To get to that door that we saw when we first entered this section of the building. So this game has a little bit of everything. It has stealth uh, aspects. It has puzzling, puzzler type aspects, like trying to uh, get all the activated switches to figure out how to grapple across the way here. And then of course it has really cool and unique fighting style. Well, unique kind of iOS, but it uses the one tap attack for everything. Uh, but it's much like some console games as Devil May Cry, uh, where it's kind of a button masher that you stream together, some pretty cool combos. And it has some detective work, and it has a little bit of free room, and it has a good story. So it, it kind of 
encompasses everything that an action RPG should encompass. So now what we got to do here is activate a few more loading cranes. So we can get to the other side here. Because Ava has detected that the battery core is close in one of these other rooms. So now we're trying to get to the other room and find a battery core. Fast forward here a little bit through uh, some of these things. And for some reason, I have a hard time right here getting this to activate. Alright. Now well, that we've got those all activated, we can grapple down to the ground of the warehouse the next checkpoint and get ready for a little bit more stealth mode we need to get to that restricted area over there where Ava thinks the battery core is hiding so remember if you tap once you'll walk if you double tap you will run you can't really run full speed in stealth mode but you can walk quickly so it's a way to avoid detection if you double tap in the space you will run or quickly scatter to that uh, point that you click on once you made it through this part of the warehouse safely there will be one more little stealth sequence and then they'll get we'll get to fight a horde of some enemies here which will break up the slow methodical pace of the stealth with some good action. There's a giant door over there is where they are hiding the battery core. So now we just need to get over that security wall. And then we'll be able to kind of muscle our way through some. Because our character, much like you and I, every now and then he wants to fight. He doesn't want to just sneak around. So those resistance members run off to tell their boss that they gotta get ready for the next phase and we're sick of sneaking around so now we are going to initiate combat with these terrorist groups. <clears throat> so I'll refresh you a little bit on the combat here. Combat here. It is one touch mechanic. If you touch and hold on your character, he will charge up to do a defensive blast. If you tap once on an enemy, he'll do a quick attack. If you do not attack at all, your character will put up a shield to try and block any attacks that the enemy throw at you throws at you. And also to string to string combos here you'll see a defensive blast. Hold it down long for bigger blast. And also, if you hold down, if you hold down an enemy, you can do a bigger attack, either a long-range attack with your gun or a closer-range attack with your shaft. Now, to string to string combos together, you just need to tap on the enemy repeatedly, and you will unleash combo attacks on them, which will deal a lot of damage. Now, on the right-hand side, the green bar is your health, the yellow bar is your stamina, which is which controls how much attack you can do. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like and stay tuned for the next video because we're going to fight the first boss. Thanks.